Hey, ladies and gentlemen, Bill Shocker here. Welcome to my home just outside of Tamarindo, Costa Rica. <clears throat> Let me say that uh, over the years, I have had many coaching clients that have come to me because of what I like to term career disenfranchisement. I'm talking about doctors, lawyers, uh, CPAs, uh, engineers that have studied many, many years, uh, have basically taken their profession to the cutting edge and now don't like what they do. And they want to change jobs. They want to change careers. They want to change professions. Uh, I, and when I say change professions, I'm talking about that old Billy Joel's, Joel song, doing a stand-up routine in L.A. I'm talking about doctors wanting to open restaurants, uh, engineers wanting to become musicians, etc. And my, my answer to them is always the same. Stop. What's the goal? Is the goal to change jobs? Or is the goal to see and assess whether we should change professions, whether we should change jobs. And if the answer is yes, then we have to look at the yeses and the noes, the positives and the negatives of your new profession. <clears throat> now, don't get me wrong. Uh, this is not a, an isolated incident. According to uh, a magazine called Health and Safety Executive, uh, 3,010 out of 10,000 lawyers that's 30%, feel stress, depression, and anxiety. Uh, ABA Journal said that in 2014, 24% of lawyers were not practicing law. That was up uh, from 9% only 11 years earlier. MedPage Today did a survey and found that 50% of doctors are unhappy. Accountants won found that 34% of CPAs are unhappy. Folks, this is a pervasive problem. Individuals that have spent the vast majority of their life studying a career and then honing it to a fine edge are not happy. But should we make a change quickly? And the answer is no. What we need is a model to analyze what we should do. That is the goal-setting process, and that is what I have been pontificating and teaching and talking about over the years, and it is what I suggest you do. Click the link below. If you are feeling career disenfranchised, there's a free guide on how to set seven-day goals. Set one or two goals for yourself for seven days, and uh, maybe it's to explore new options. Maybe it's to explore the pluses and minuses of your current job. Also, take a look at some of my other courses on goal-setting. I think you're going to find a model for your future success. Don't quit just yet. There may be answers. Phil Shaka, thanking you for your time. See you on the inside. Bye.